Okay, okay, so let me explain. I swear it wasn't me who put it there. So I go on Craigslist looking for a new sofa because my roommate just moved out and took his furniture, leaving me with only a couple of chairs pushed together like a makeshift couch. Whoever told me this life hack, BTW, I hope you suffer the same horrifically sore butt as mine. I find a sofa on sale, decent price. The woman selling it, Sarah, tells me that she inherited her grandmother's house and is basically trying to just offload stuff, asks if I want to see the other furniture, so I also get a couple of new chairs, because fuck my old set that I hate now, ever since using it as a couch. There's also a chest freezer she offers to throw in for a good deal because she has no space for it. I don't need a chest freezer, but I think about how many pizzas I can fit into that sucker and how many trips this will save me to the grocery store. You could fit a whole deer in this thing. It has a strange dent in the side and doesn't latch properly and has this weird musty smell, but I plug it in and test it out and it's working just fine. I don't have enough room in the Lowe's rental truck, though, for the sofa, chairs, and this monstrosity. She tells me her cousin has a pickup and can drop it off later since I'm local. Fast forward a few hours. There's a knock on my door. A burly guy and his buddy are there, and they tell me they have my freezer and carry it down to the unfinished basement for me. I go to the store and buy two dozen pizzas, fuck yeah, and of course beer. Getting home, I throw the beers in the fridge, then stack as many pizzas as I can carry into my arms and bring them down to the basement and set them down and open the freezer. And I shut the freezer. No way, says my brain. I can't actually process it. Not at first, just doesn't compute because I looked in this freezer not a few hours earlier, just this morning, right? Then I open it and peek again. There is a body in the freezer. Every hair on my neck stands on end. The gears of my brain grind like a machine breaking down, like there's a stick caught in the spokes. Only the stick is this mummified corpse. Certainly there was no shriveled corpse when I looked inside this morning. I would have remembered, I think. I hear someone giggle. It's me. Yes, I would have remembered a body. Ha ha. Hard to forget that sort of detail. Ha ha ha. Get it together, I tell myself. And then I ask myself, am I sure it's real? Half of me wants to shut the freezer and call the cops. The other half says that, no, I should investigate closer. I spend a full minute paralyzed between these two insanely bad options. Of course, there are no good options when you're dealing with a body in your newly purchased freezer. Finally, I decide the body must be a prank, a stunt, Oh, Sarah, so funny, ha ha ha, what a riot, you got me. Pushing the lid open all the way, I lean over the corpse and now the odor hits me, an old, musty odor, a stench. This body is not fresh, no, it looks like it's been around a while, practically mummified. It's a man, woman, with the shriveled skin it's hard to tell. It's all dried out and discolored, the skin of the lips pulled back over yellowing teeth, dressed in dirty clothes spattered with old blood. It has strangely long fingernails. Makes me think of something I read once, truth or urban legend, about how the nails of the dead continue to grow after they've passed on. It also looks extremely lifelike. Well, you know what I mean. Realistically, death-like, not a Halloween prop. It occurs to me if this is a murder victim, I should search for an ID, 
But also, this is when the terror kicks in, and fuck no, I think, and shut the freezer. I still have all those pizzas. What the hell am I supposed to do with two dozen thawing pizzas and a corpse? So, the obvious thing to do here would be to call the police. But that's assuming you're a law-abiding citizen with no criminal record. Unfortunately, I hung with the wrong crowd when I was young, took a ride in the back seats of a few stolen cars, got in a few fights, stupid stuff, and I regret it all now. I haven't done anything illegal in years, but would the cops recognize my good behavior or just my record? How would I even explain? Hello, officers. I bought a freezer, and it came with a body inside. I mean, yes, I guess that's what I'd say. It is the truth, and I am innocent. But do I have faith that my innocence would keep me safe in America's justice system? LOL, come on. So instead, I decide I'll drive this fucking freezer straight back to Sarah's and dump it on her property right where I found it. It's too heavy for me to move alone. After some calls, I convince my former roommate to lend a hand. I don't plan to let him look in the freezer during the move. I re-secure the latch and add a padlock. I'll remove it and my fingerprints once we bring it back. The rental truck isn't available until tomorrow, since Lowe's is already closed for the night, which is fine. I need a cold place to keep those pizzas anyway. By midnight, I'm feeling like a fool for not calling the police. But also, I envision myself being thrown into prison for a decade or more for a crime I didn't commit. Whose body even is it? How did it get there? Why are the nails so long? All questions that haunt me beyond any hope of sleep. And finally, I get up and head down to the basement to grab one of those pizzas. And yes, it's scary as shit going down at midnight. I tell myself I'm a grown-ass adult and there's nothing to be scared of. It's just a basement, just a freezer, just a corpse, like in a coffin at a wake like at any funeral, natural as worm food. I try to make myself less scared of said corpse by telling myself it's just a mummy, the lamest of all movie monsters. Really, I just want to make sure it's still there and that it's not moving around. Approaching the freezer, I take a deep breath. My heart is going a million beats a minute. I feel like I might faint as I open the lid, mummified body, pizzas. My fluttering heart slowly settles. It's like looking into a sarcophagus at a museum, but next to Tutankhamun is a box of pizza. I grab a box, close the lid. The lid won't latch. It's not closing all the way. I try to figure out what's stuck and then see the finger, the long nail, sticking out from the freezer door like King Tut here wants out. The breathe leaves my body. I stare, unable to get in any oxygen. The whole world tilts on its axis. Then I open the lid, just a fraction, use my pizza box to nudge the shriveled finger back in, close the lid, and latch it. Slip the padlock on and head upstairs. I wake up in the morning with my head pounding from a hangover. The bright sunshine pries my lids open. I'm surprised to find crumbs and empty beer cans beside my bed. Apparently, I actually cooked and ate that pizza. I crawl out of bed and meander into my kitchen, reaching for the fridge door only to find the fridge in the wrong place. Oh. It seems in my terror I moved it in front of the basement door. I move it back. Try to ignore my accelerating pulse as I open the basement door and cautiously peek down the stairs. Light from the egress windows 
illuminates the unfinished cement flooring. From here, everything appears normal, though my pulse skyrockets as I pad downstairs and peek at the chest freezer. It is locked, nothing out of place. I think about unlocking it and looking at the mummy, maybe getting my pizzas out before moving the freezer, but no. Fuck the pizzas. I leave it alone. It's been a few hours since my old roommate and I dropped off the chest freezer amidst the other estate sale items back at Sarah's property. I'm back home now, sitting on my sofa typing up this post, and I keep thinking of that finger with those long nails that clearly kept growing after death. Thinking of whether I need to reevaluate my stance on life and death and undeath, or whether I just dreamt the whole thing up, or I just don't know. But I wish I'd never bought those pizzas. If I hadn't ever put them in my freezer, I could pretend it was all just a bad dream. But I can't because... As we were leaving, I remembered to take my padlock and wipe down the freezer. I remembered, too, the pizzas inside, and it occurred to me that someone might wonder who put those boxes in there, and better to take those, too. My roommate helped me carry them, wrinkling his nose and saying, Ugh, good call to return it. That freezer smells nasty. And now I keep imagining I hear shuffling down below in my basement, and I'm terrified to go down and look, because... The freezer was definitely padlocked closed when we moved it, but when we opened it up at Sarah's property, there was no body lying there like a mummy in its sarcophagus. There were only the pizzas. And caught in the hinge of the freezer door, one long claw-like broken nail, so now I have to wonder, where the fuck did the body go?